Hello everyone and now welcome to a game taking place here on Last Refuge. Sonic has spawned as the Yellow Night Elf on the bottom left hand side of the map. Meanwhile, Hawk has spawned as the Red Human over here um, um, on the top right. Bottom left, top right. For a second I, I may have misspoke earlier. Sometimes I get confused. Left, right, up, down. Yeah. What am I saying? I'm getting old. Coming back across in in this game here, Arch, Archmage going up against a Keeper of the Grove. That, those are my expectations. But then again, Demon Hunter first has become quite a bit popular as well. And I am enjoying this influx or uh, the growth of the Blood Mage as a supporting hero in recent years or in recent months. Uh, the Blood Mage is just such a good job at channeling and shutting down enemy heroes as long as you can keep that blood mage alive um, that is a key key part that blood mage becomes stationary while it channels and while it is stationary well it ends up just standing there and taking a beating needing mic volume is low or is it just me yeah people have been playing with my um pe uh, people have been playing with my um things my my knobs a bit so hopefully how's that is that a bit better or is that too much now? All right. Anyways, let's let's just get back into the game here. Archmage going to be trained up. Um, meanwhile, back down over here, Keeper of the Grove. Yeah. Let let me guys let me know um, if if audio is a bit of an issue. I do have a soundboard right next to me. I've been following you on YouTube for years because of work. And life, it's hard to find the time to play Warcraft 3. Thanks for casting all of these games. You are very welcome. Um, like, as as someone who really enjoys Warcraft 3, um, and then saying, oh, you know, just play it in your free time. As you play Warcraft 3, and, and you, it, it, you just somehow feel a little bit sad sometimes because you know you're not playing the, the, this beautiful game at the level that it could be played. Um, you just you watch your own games and you're just like oh I, my goodness I'm I'm making um, all of these mistakes and and you tend to only spot your mistakes so often. Have you ever missed Crota stream? No, yeah, Metaphysics has missed um, some Crota streams, uh, but he does. Um, he yeah he does. Anyways, coming back down to the south side here, we are looking at an expansion clear. Sonic looking to clear things up. And we'll get close, or will he get to level 2 here? I do believe, I think he actually cleared out another creep camp first. So, yeah, clearing out this 5-3-3 creep camp. Forest Troll Trapper will fall. Tree Ants are going to, will finish the remainder of the job as a Tree of Life now coming into play. Archmage of Hawk, however, not going for an expansion, uh, he is getting up fifth, up to 15 workers, so an expansion still might be on the table. As we're looking at Archmage with a belt of giant strength and claws of attack. All right, additional bonus hit points. Archmage able to dish out the damage and take a little bit more as things um, ma make their way through. All right, Triumphs now going after this peasant here. There's a quick abolish magic taking down both of them as well as the Keeper of the Grove will be forced to retreat back. He does not want to be sticking around in this fight. Forest Troll Berserker quickly trained up by Hawk as that Forest Troll Berserker represents a large amount of damage at this point and stage in the game. Coming back down to the south here, we are or uh, off to the east here. We're looking at, well, Militia being called over, which does mean an expansion attempt. Sonic, however, also has gone for a quick quick expansion attempt as well as the Forest Troll Shadow Priest looking to uh, back away from those treants. Keeper of the Grove taking quite a bit of damage. Did he grab the other Claws of Attack? He did. Sonic stealing the second Claws of Attack plus 5, now up to plus 10 damage onto that Keeper of the Grove. And that Keeper of the Grove will really be racking up the damage. Forest Troll Shadow Priest also taken out as well. Keeper of the Grove with dual Claws of attack, very big damage output, upwards of 38 damage now compared to 
Um, well, the lower end, which would have been, what, a 32 to 38 damage. Quite high indeed, as the footman quickly, quickly aggros those creeps right there to get taken down. Water elementals are trying to take down this Tree of Life. Tree of Life taking quite a beating down to 600 hit points. Is it going to get up Fortified Armor in time? It is taking still a lot of bit of damage. Finally gets up the Fortified Armor, but maybe too little too late. No, Wisp now coming back across. There is that repair as the second Water Elemental being placed back down. All right, it looks as though the Tree of Life does end up getting taken down and this timing by hawk to shut down the opponent's tree of life absolutely on point uh, wasting away plenty of time and strategy that sonic had invested in to this expansion the problem now is that sonic does have a large number of workers here ready to try and set up an expansion and that's not going to really work out well archmage trying to break free an army of archers has completely surround surrounded this archmage here archmage unable to break free there is shadow meld there as well as it's just trying to attack its way through archmage keeper of the grove those duels a claws of attack really adding in quite a bit more damage as the archmage well will be forced to bowl, burn a scroll of town portal finally and well head and retreat back home well, during that time, though, he was able to buy precious seconds for this town hall to become operational. Arcane Tower, now done. Town Hall Tech to Tier 2 now started. Tree of Life being rebuilt once more. And I'm surprised that Sonic didn't, well, back off from his early aggression. Um, Sonic could have very easily said, you know what, I don't need to set up an expansion. Let me try and get to tier two faster and then do a very strong tier two push instead. In, in, instead, he went back here and is now going after this expansion as well. Keeper of the Grove coming back off to the north here, getting get some damage onto that Archmage. Archmage taking quite a beating as the Keeper of the Grove with those dual claws of attack really racking up the damage still. All right, more damage coming across here. There's a quick Abolish Magic. Should have gone straight for that Forest Troll Shadow Priest. Getting well, getting that Forest Troll Shadow Priest opens up the door and the window of opportunity as the Naga Sea Witch shows up to the party and says, you know what, let me get some Fork Lightning in. No cold arrows there. Keeper of the Grove, uh, well, trapping that Archmage in the very far back entangle right there. Is it going to be enough damage? Yes, it is as the Archmage falls down at level three. Keeper of the Grove now looking to back away once more. Do that dual claws of attack, that item pickup may have been all of the additional advantage that Sonic needed to shut things down. The expansion is still being added in here, but Sonic with that additional Naga Sea which has really put in and added on the pressure. Sonic may not even be able to get the fruits of that one particular expansion very, very, very long as we're looking at well dual art or dual towers here only one operational as the range attack still able to add up quite a bit more damage all right a couple more volleys as that force troll shadow priest now trying to hide in the back naga see which however trickly dives on in and is going to go ahead and finish that off there over maulers joining in archmage quickly resurrected at the tavern only way that it could get back out onto the battlefield school of regeneration there's an entangle smud golem now joining in as well as the keeper of the grove gonna go ahead and take down the archmage for the second time in the past minute and a half. Naga Sea Witch getting, gaining a large amount of experience. Footman trying to dive on in here, but the Naga Sea Witch with cold arrows and also the now Fork Lightning able to really punish those units if they are coming in in a single file line. Keeper of the Grove, now once again, leading the charge here, could easily shut down this Arcane Tower, putting pressure back onto those Peasants as well. Peasant gonna get taken down, focus down the Arcane Tower while it has low armor and easy hit points. And here we are, putting in all of that pressure again. Naga Sea Witch, Keeper of the Grove, back once more as a footman while trying to catch this Archer here. That Archer will, however, save by everyone else. Archmage resurrected once more, and it looks like the additional gold from the expansion of Hawk is just easily and quickly turning into, well, bonus experience for Sonic. Sonic looking to finish things off. There goes one, another Ogre Mauler getting taken out. They are just trying to hide in the very far back and unable to get that much healing going. All right, level four now on the Archmage. Archmage with level two Brilliance Aura and level two Water Elementals could really and really start to uh, gain a bit of an experience advantage. We are looking at a level four Archmage. Are we getting up a second hero? No, not yet. So that Archmage is getting a, quite a bit of bonus experience as the Naga Sea Witch. Where is it trying to find that Archmage? There it is. It gets a potion of healing right there. Belt of Giant Strength dropped, picked back up. That was beautiful, beautiful. Micro coming in as the Archmage well finishes off the Naga Sea Witch himself. Archmage now retreating back that Belt of Giant Strength, providing an additional 150 hit points, even more. 
considering that potion of greater healing was dropped and uh, was used when that belt of giant strength was dropped and then picked back up all right still more fighting underway again um, keeper of the grove sitting at level four hoping to finish things off here perhaps get to level five naga sea which uh, well, still out for the count as the archmage sits at level four keeper of the grove sits at level five 40 up to 46 damage as the archmage able to back away again the expansion is up and running for sonic and that expansion is going to re really start to pay off here as well as Hawk is just spending so much time just constantly trying to keep this expansion up, keep the peasants alive, and have enough of a defense and holding it together. Sonic now retreating back. We are now going into dual Ancients of Lore, protecting the Tree of Ages, and that bear advantage should be coming in here very handy. Archmage Mountain King making its way back down to the bottom left as well. And these games, uh, well, today's games seem to be a very classical nature with the aggression straight out of the gates at the expansion mountain king comes across here stormbolt with on, onto that keeper of the grove keeper of the grove down to 67 hit points he is going to be forced to retreat archmage trying to head back away one more finer fireball but the archmage is able to survive all right a moonstone perhaps will be needed you're looking at a well single ancient of or aow there keeper of the grove now heading back off to the north again ancient of wonders being placed down at the expansion and hawk has held off the attack peeper of the grove well it should not be anywhere near this fight the claws of attack plus 10 essentially should have been transferred over to the naga sea which which would which would give more damage to the naga sea witch and clear out this creep camp that much faster naga sea which will be getting to level three here without much of an issue and it picks up a potion of greater healing meanwhile a keeper of the grove perhaps going to try and pick up a scroll of town portal sonic with over a thousand gold in the bank it's now having staff of preservation as well selling that ring of protection getting in some clarity potion action and well is it moonstone time no it is not Look, all right naga sea which now making its way back off to the north again as the keeper of the grove now also has an orb of venom Orb of Venom adding in additional damage over time. Dryads are here quickly taking out many of those Water Elementals. Oh, another Water Elemental about to get taken out. Potion of Greater Healing used just in time right there. That Water Elemental just finish it off. It's going to actually die to timed life. Loss of experience right there. And more damage on that Naga Sea, which is completely needless as we're looking at more fights getting underway. Naga Sea, which continuing this pressure, does have level 2 Fork Lightning. Could try and focus down all of those backline units. There goes another Water Elemental there as well. Forest Troll Trapper and Ogre Warrior giving some experience still. All right, last Forest Troll Trapper to get taken down. We should be looking at a rejuvenation onto that Keeper of the Grove here once there is enough mana. Those Druids of the Claw. Um, well, we'll be getting the Mastery Training here in just a moment. We are looking at 55 supply compared to 54 army sizes. Very, uh, very similar to each other. Keeper a Druid of the Claw should be going for a, a Rejuvenate onto that Keeper of the Grove. And we are now going to be going into engagement here. Naga Sea Witch pressure onto that Arcane Tower. Fork Lightning across all of those back units. Repairs are underway. Bear now trying to join in onto the battle. There's the rejuvenation that we were wait or I was waiting for. Don't know if you guys were. As the Spellbreakers are now getting ready to, well, tank some damage in that frontline spot. Hawk able to defend here. Sonic with a 63 supply or and with a supply advantage slightly. However, the Archmage also now getting up to level 5 and opts to go for level 3 Brilliance Aura over level 3 Water Elementals. Dryads will be able to abolish magic much more easily. Demon Hunter, uh, the third and final hero coming in from Sonic. And as a Demon Hunter... Um, is joining in on the battle perhaps picking up a staff of teleportation eventually he'll be able to get in and out of those battles with the staff of preservation on sonic's keeper of the grove come in mana burn onto that mountain king and do it quickly shut down that mountain king a little bit and then retreat back out rejuvenated from those moon wells quick roar coming across here bonus damage going to try and shut down the workshops here as the tree ants now trying to set up some of their own or putting in a little bit of of their own damage and and well soaking up some damage as well 
All right, farms are quickly getting uh, well taken down here. Sorceresses taking a lot of damage. In comes a scroll of town portal, and straight up right there, bears are all here. There's a quick thunderclap. Demon hunter mana burn onto the mountain uh, mountain king already. Thunderclap, however, slowing down many of those bears as the keeper of the grove is still all right here. Are we gonna see a staff of preservation? Yes, down to 15 hit points. Find that staff of preservation at just the right moment. Low hit point bear does get finished off though, as all the units do retreat back out. One bear. Um, lost in that battle meanwhile keeper of oh, druid of the claw using moon wells to heal back up uh, that is a bit of well uh well should have turned back into a bear drank from the moon well and then used a rejuvenation and um, you cannot be you you need to be managing your moon well mana much much better in order to in order to well to be able to recover back a little bit more easily perhaps another moonstone will be added in added as well demon hunter now clearing out of this creep camp by or by himself um, with no other heroes nearby evasion perhaps going to be checked onto that demon hunter as he's going to be trying to dive head on into many many fights ogre magi taken down there healing wards another beautiful item indeed to try and well heal up all of these units making it difficult for bears and archers to get taken out meanwhile these corner locations getting cleared up here mountain king gonna get up to level four level two stormbolt now onto the table with legion of doomhorn as well fast movement speed uh, faster attack speed for all of these units endurance aura coupled with unholy aura on that mountain king making the rest of that human army just that much stronger level five level four level two going up against a level five level four and we now see sonic actually in high upkeep seeing that 86 over 90 supply is sonic gonna try and shut the door here now he does not want to be losing that much gold per second to his opponent um, just by sitting in high upkeep so which is better, two of those speed auras or one level? I, I'm not actually quite sure. What, what do you mean? Two of those speed auras or one of the unholy auras? Um, they stack, right? So unholy aura and endurance aura stack here. So right now they both have a 7% a movement speed on top. And hence the reason why this army is moved, uh, the human army is able to move around so quickly. Anyways, Sonic now coming across in here, um, capturing and well, pushing all the way back into a corner. Hawk leaving behind some items. Is the Demon Hunter going to spot this? No, it is not. There is a tome of strength. Um, all of these items back across here, and the Demon Hunter could have easily picked them up. More health, more damage, um, and yeah, more health, more damage, more armor. All of those were available. That's plus eight damage per attack for the Demon Hunter, who also has an Orb of Venom. Uh, Demon Hunter not getting that there. If that Demon Hunter falls, well, we know why it is why it is going to happen. Meanwhile, Workshop currently training up some mortar teams. Those mortar teams could easily get cleaned up here as the Archmage now has double scrolls of healing and healing wards as well healing wards are placed down and here we are workshop quickly getting taken out bears are going to be forced to retreat back but they are there is already a healing ward in position to try and offer a bit of protection mountain king now making its way over there's a quick rejuvenation onto the bear as well as it gets a rejuvenation storm both snipes down that bear followed up with the thunderclap beautiful play by hawk racking up that damage or or just well yeah as stacking all of that damage onto the Druid of the Claws here. Druid of the Claws now trying to dive on into that position. Staff of Preservation perhaps should be used as we see a Thunderclap. Level 3 Thunderclap slowing down the bears. Another bear could get taken down. You no know, able to escape at 17 hit points. Not quite sure why the Keeper of the Grove is not. But Staff of Preservation, the Demon Hunter. Demon Hunter now back here. Not the Sea Witch needs to try and save that Druid of the Claw. Almost taunting Hawk to try and, um, try and see what he was going to do with that right there. All right, one bear is saved. This bear down to 17 hit points, still alive somehow. It should really transform back into a druid heal. Up. Same with that as well. And again, get rebounded back in once more. There's one rejuvenation. Another rejuvenation is in order. Well, not quite yet, apparently. As the druids of the claw, um, some of them in their druid form, able to heal back up once more. 
All right, there's another rejuvenation. One more rejuvenation needed. 93 supply coming in from Sonic going up against Hawk's 66. And Hawk's army still seems rather scary, even though Sonic has a much larger army here. Archmage putting down the pressure, going to shut down that Ancient of Wonders, remove some of that home field advantage. And the Archmage now could easily just start taking down Wisps here. Um, is he going to try and do exactly that? Keeper the Grove, Stormbolt there. A lot of damage. Staff of Preservation saves Mana Burn now onto that Deep Mountain King. As we could be looking at a Staff of Preservation on a bear. No, no, we are not. That was on cooldown once more. And the dru Druid, or the Keeper of the Grove, was unable to save that Druid of the Claw. Demon Hunter sitting at level 3. Are we perhaps going to be looking at some more healing wards? No, not quite yet. Mountain King needing to get a bit more mana. And Hawk, still behind in terms of army size, still able to continue that pressure. Sock has the, well, the, the upgrades. He and I would even argue that he has a hero advantage with having a Demon Hunter out alongside a level 4 Naga Sea Witch, but he is unable to put pressure on the Hawk's army, even with that army size advantage. 97 supply over 100 compared to 78. Units getting ready and, and in order once more. Demon Hunter Squirrel of Healing getting ready to just bounce back again. Keeper the Grove with now plus 18 damage between those items as we're looking at a peasant well making sure that the ogre is the ogre lord ogre lord was already taken out and this gargantuan sea turtle was destroyed as well treants now diving on in the hawks expansion quickly going to spot a bunch here as the keeper of the grove now getting ready to engage in comes some treants and here we are ready for the battle town hall taking quite a bit of damage there's a quick roar are the units going to be able to finish it off there in come all of those units there goes the blizzard blizzard raining down slowing things down here mountain king well, there's a thunderclap coming across from the Mountain King. No mana burn onto that Mountain King. That's exactly what you need for the Demon Hunter to really do anything there as the healing ward will clearly preventing a large amount of damage. Sonic is pushing through. However, um, well, Sonic is losing more than Hawk at this point in stage in the game. And remember, economic advantage to Hawk as Sonic was in high upkeep for so long. Mortar teams splashing down so much damage again and again. Dryads are getting splatted. 68 supply compared to 70. And now Sonic only has a two supply advantage after all of this right here in quick invisibility there. Ooh, that bear able to escape away at 11 hit points. 11 hit point bear. I believe an attack from a sorceress or priest was on its way. 72 supply. Hawk having the supply advantage. And now Archmage has mass teleport. Mass Teleport Archmage also transitioned into level 3 uh, Blizzard with level 2 Brilliance Aura, Mountain King with Thunderclap here, and Mountain King with plenty of mana also opting to use up a Clarity Potion. Sonic, thank you for the sub. Um, Sonic may have thought that he had an, had enough of an advantage in that fight with the army size advantage right there. He had dryads, but the mortar teams were able to freely just uh, uh, rain down those um, those fragmentation shards across multiple dryads here. One mortar team quickly, quickly spots the dryad army. He was about to launch an attack and says, nope. I should not be doing that. Meanwhile, with mass teleport out on the table, uh, the Archmage should perhaps be trying to head off retreat to the back here. Are we going to instead see use of the high ground? Yes, we. Uh, no, we are not. No use of the high ground. Just straight up Stormbolt on who was standing amongst a blizzard as well. Mortar team trying to rejoin up with the rest of the human army ends up getting sniped down once more as this human army of Hawk once again falling behind in terms of size, but not in terms of deadliness. 48 supply compared to 57 army size. Um, Dry is trying to make their way forward. Bears are actually behind enemy lines here as the Mountain King, well, Potion of Lesser Invulnerability now gets up to level 6. Damage adding back up. There's a Thunderclap trying to slow things across multiple units as the, the Keeper of the Grove stays at level 5. Level 5 Keeper of the Grove applying more poison here. Archmage could be in trouble down to 130, well, 29 hit points. Able to use the Scroll of Town Portal in time once again. Demon Hunter could get taken down and yes, Demon Hunter taken down at the last moment as well. A beautiful, beautiful victory for Hawk. 60 supply compared to 53. Sonic is starting to let everything unravel in this fight here as we now see mass teleport to try and perhaps yes shut down this expansion here tree of eternity picked itself up and walked over here to the four o'clock expansion location however archmage able to get over there in pretty much an instant 
moving the entire army and now going to be shutting it down. Mountain King is invisible. Archman's trying to retreat back away. A whole bunch of Wisp trying to detonate, but not going to do much detonating on riflemen and mortar teams as the Tree of Eternity is now lost. All right. Keeper of the Grove, Demon Hunter, and Naga Sea Witch. High level heroes, 49 supply. If the Demon Hunter gets up to level 5, perhaps maybe there is enough efficiency with Mana Burn to try and shut down Sonic. But Sonic has let too many opportunities get away from him. He's seen at 44 supply, currently in a no upkeep, but um, well, mining only 270 more gold. Meanwhile, looking at Hawk, Hawk is not mining any gold either. Hawk, um, both gold mines mined out and he's going to be forced to do a long distance mining as well bears however able to easily finish off some of these peasants who are caught out in the midfield one peasant oh come on one more shot well even the keeper of the groves like oh is the trion gonna get it okay finally getting that taken down there gold mine finally destroyed mortar teams looking to shut down this tree of life 49 supply compared to six fork lightning here comes the final battle perhaps blizzard raining down thunderclap across multiple bears could be a little bit of trouble one bear now taken down another bear about to get taken down as well as that damage is going to add up demon hunter in that frontline spot as well are we perhaps going to see more mana burns all of the enemy heroes are now already out of mana 53 supply compared to 36 hawk trying to well trying to win this battle outright finishing off the remaining dryads Meanwhile, Keeper of the Grove gets up to level 6, does have access to Tranquility, and with no mana on that Mountain King, the Tranquility is going to keep this army alive and well, uh, and too. Still continuing this push, the Keeper of the Grove holding on, trying to regenerate hit points, and this is going to force a retreat coming in from Hawk as well. Hawk in a little bit of trouble. Dryads with slow poison could finish off things more. There's a little bit more Sorceress slow. Invisibility could be cast. More units are just taking damage again and again as the Demon Hunter trying to finish off more units. All right, there goes another mortar tomb 36 supply compared to 33 hawk while well, actually getting stuck behind an invisible mortar team as well invisible units causing problems all sorts all over the place as the army size is now even once again a couple of peasants could get destroyed here as we are looking at another peasant getting taken down keeper of the grove with tranquility cooldown nearly um, nearly completed and as long as the Demon Hunter is able to keep the Mountain King in check on terms of Stormbolt, the army and the massive healing of the Night Elf army of Sonic could be too much. Keeper of the Grove now trying to make its way back over, perhaps apply some well, Orb of Venom damage here. Mountain King, Clarity Potion as and it well, is not invisible. Archmage is currently invisible, could pop up out of nowhere. Archer running on head on into the situation. That is not a good spot. There you go, Avatar. Now, that is the key to stop the mount, uh, stop the Demon Hunter. No more mana burns as the Demon Hunter uh, cannot mana burn a Magic Immune unit, keeping the Keeper of the Grove in check, unable to use Tranquility, even though he, or he had the mana. All right, Entangle, however, on the Archmage shuts him down, and the Archmage is now lost. Level 6 Archmage has fallen, and suddenly Hawk had the strategy to try and shut down Sonic. Sonic's Keeper of the Grove not realizing that his own Archmage could get shut down as well. One final shot off in the back. There goes the Demon, hun Demon Hunter and Hawk comes away with the victory. Sonic able to, well, claw his way back in, back into the game. And well, a major, major back and forth battle. Archmage was down. <laughs> And Archmage was down. I think the Mountain King fell as well, giving Sonic the victory. It didn't highlight who actually won. I thought Sonic had lost that. Invisible MK was a good technique for positioning AoE. Yeah, a great game going back and forth. I thought the Demon Hunter fell for a second, and then I said, no, wait, I think the I think the Mountain King fell in the final seconds there, trying to recap recap those like final seven seconds. A great, great game by Sonic. He, I thought he was going to end up throwing the game. He had the supply advantage, unable to trade efficiently against Hawk, but with only the demon or the demon hunter, the Naga Sea Witch, and the Keeper of the Grove, with great items, able to win that war of attrition. That Keeper of the Grove getting to level six and accessing tranquility while mana burning the Mountain King was absolutely key there. Um, the damage just was not sticking on sonic's units as long as tranquility was running and then well hawk was off to the races um trying to run away but while well, running away only to see a fully healed up night elf army coming back at you became a problem
I hope you guys enjoyed it. An entertaining matchup. And I will see you guys next time.